what is going on guys and welcome in this video we're going to create a fixed sidebar over here and you can see that we're also going to create a transform property that would actually make our uh, links over here to be actually moving to from uh, left to right right so let's fire up our text editors and let's get to work so how do we create a fixed sidebar in this case is going to be on the left hand side now again you can see that we're sitting in html uh, file over here and we can see that we haven't done any uh, particularly special tags the only thing we're going to add maybe in title we're going to say a fixed sidebar something like this sidebar and over here we're going to start obviously adding our html skeleton right and as always we're going to start with a nav tags over here like this i'm going to say that we are we're going to be placing our unordered list within a nav tag and over here we're going to create a unordered list and here it's going to be a list item with a link over here and it's going to be a href attribute that has a hashtag as a value and over here we're just going to say that this is going to be home then I'm going to select the whole line and I'm just going to copy this like four times again. And here I'm going to say about and this is going to be info. And this is going to be, I don't know, survey, something like this. So now we have a four list items. Now let's keep going and let's add actually again a div. And we're going to again call it a div and give it a uh, class of box. And over here we're just going to say that within this div, Again, there's going to be a heading one and it's going to have, say hello world, right? And again, we're just going to select the whole line and we're just going to copy it multiple times. So then when we're scrolling up and down the page, we actually can see how this uh, nav bar over here is fixed to the side. I just need to grab this div over here, this closing tag and actually press cut and paste it all the way in the bottom. So now all my H1s are sitting actually within this div and I'm actually ready to go ahead and actually start styling over here. So I created over here these style tags and I'm obviously going to start setting the rules. And the first rule that I would want is to select all the elements and say that I would want them to have margin zero and padding zero, right? This would be the first thing. Now after that, I'm going to start styling a unordered list and what I would want to do is actually set first a uh, width and a height and, and all that. So I'm just going to say over here a unordered list. And you can see that I made a wrong brackets over here. So I'm just going to create a curly brackets. And I'm going to say list style type over here. List style type. And this is going to be none. And after that, what we're going to say is that we would want to have a set width to be 30 percent and then we would want a position to be fixed over here like this and after that we would want a height to be 100 percent and over here now you can see that what's happening right it's sitting all the way on a on the left hand side on the top and as we're scrolling up and down it is fixed right however we would need to set a rules for this box over here right for this div that has actually all the uh, all the h1 headings so over here I'm gonna write a rule and I'm gonna say that I would want this box to be floated right over here like this and I would want this to be a width of let's say uh, I don't know like 70 percent since I'm setting that one to 30 percent and after that I would want my uh, height to be let's say to 16 uh, 1600 pixels something like this because you can see over here if I set the height to be 100% I would need to set the height over here for this div right so now you can see that we're slowly but surely we're actually getting there and the last thing that I would want to do is actually margin left I don't want to be like uh, something like 30 30 percent right because if we're setting this one to the left hand side to, to be set 30 percent we would obviously want this margin to be 30 percent and after that, what we're going to say is we would want a text align center and we're just going to give it some background color, right? Again, so we're going to say background color over here like this. And we're going to say that this is going to be like this almond one, right? So now you can see that we have set up the div, but we just need to make this unordered list a little bit nicer, right? 
So let's go back and maybe add a little, couple of more properties over here to this on our list. So first of all, I'm just going to say that this is going to have a line height of like, let's say 60 pixels. So line height, 60 pixels. Then we're just going to say that it's going to have a background color over here of dark gray. And now you can see how it's spanning all the way to the bottom, right? So that's the point of this adding this height over here of 100%. Because if we have the set height over here of 1600 pixels, then it's obviously this color is going to be spanning all the way to the bottom. Now, actually, we can go ahead and style the list items. And we're going to say that over here, list items over here like this. And we're just going to say that we would want them to have a display block over here like this. And we're going to say that we would want a width to be 100%. And when we say 100%, we actually mean this 100% within this 30% over here. So we'd want our list items to be spanning all the way across. Now, after that, let's go ahead and actually style a uh, links over here. So I'm just going to say uh, links. And I'm going to say that I would want them to be display block again, because I want to click them anywhere, not just on the text. And then I would want to say text align center. So I move them nicely to the center. And after that, I would just say the text decoration would be none. None over here. And after that, we're going to say we're going to add it a color, right? I'm going to say color and color is going to be chocolate. Now, what also we would want to do is actually uh, have this trans uh, transformation property, right? That actually our links are moving, uh, let's say, from left to right, right? So here we're just going to write a transition. Over here like this and we're going to say that this is going to be transform over here like this and we're just going to say that this is going to be one second ease in out right something like this so now let's go ahead and let's actually set the property when we're actually hovering over right so we say a pseudo class over here of hover and we just set a couple of rules right so the first one is going to be uh, transform so this is we're actually saying what type of transformation should be and instead of spinning 360 degrees we're just going to say that we would want uh, to translate 30 percent right Tr 30 over here like this 30 percent and we would set zero over here so then what happens is you can see that as i'm hovering over you can see how they're spinning from left to right but just to make it a little bit more interesting, what we can do is actually set a border to pixel solid black over here like this. And now we also can have a border radius. Border radius over here like this radius and to be like, I don't know, five pixels. So what happens is as I'm hovering over, you can see that I have this nice border and they're going from left to right. And also this, the whole point of this video was to show you that this nav bar is staying fixed as I'm going, uh, scrolling up and down the page. So you and I can see how easy it is actually to make all this.